Return of Wolverine number one by Charles Soule and Steve McNiven. Wolverine awakens in agony with searing claws cooled in pools of blood. He's in a laboratory, surrounded by the dead with one lone scientist still alive. The man tells him that he works at the behest of Persephone and that she must be stopped. Suddenly the lab explodes, freeing a cloned saber-toothed tiger who's then impaled by a mammoth, as Wolverine hears a voice in his head explaining what he has to do. Logan walks into a valley with his subconscious describing what he has to do here. He sees a jeep pass with armed guards and he follows it. At a nearby encampment, the guards take one of the resident's sons and burn the rest of it down. Wolverine springs into action, lighting up the guard tower as an Omega Red Glad soldier blows out his motorcycle's tire. He dreams. In a flashback, he speaks with Persephone before being awoken by one of the fleeing scientists. Reminding him of who he is, she helps to close a wound that won't heal, and they discuss her missing son. They continue talking about how he's one of the most famous X-Men of all time, but he still can't remember anything, just bits and pieces. She recounts times that he's been seen in action, with knives in his hands, and how he fights for those less fortunate. Inside his subconscious, Logan frees one of his many past selves, the original blue and yellow incarnation prepares to fight Persephone. With claws popped, Wolverine's back. But what's going to happen next? We'll have to wait to find out, as this issue is left to be continued. So five years after Charles Soule and Steve McNibbon pinned the death of Wolverine, I honestly never thought it would stick this long. Before starting this series, I went back and flipped through its preceding one to remind myself what all that happened. Now after months and months of Logan popping up in cameos, he's finally back for good. And it's true that nobody can spin a tail quite like Charles Soule. This was an awesome way to kick it off. I give this one a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the nerdiest kid you know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.